What is the worst feeling ever? That feeling that you get right after losing a person pet that you loved so dearly. It's such a hopeless feeling. Like you're reaching out and crying for someone who just minutes before was there. That's the worst feeling ever. That gut-wrenching feeling you get when you realize you fucked up something very badly and you can't fix it anymore. When someone betray your trust when you needed them the most. The feeling of total helplessness while watching a loved one die. Doom. That diagnosis. That moment when failure is inevitable. The impending breakup. My dad was in a coma for a little over a week before we lost him, and we knew we would be losing him. That's doom and it's the prelude to grief. I hope none of you experience doom. It's like having all of your agency for change stripped away. It's a true sense of powerlessness, and it's traumatizing. Acknowledging the death of your most loved one, making your brain understand that they just don't exist anymore, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to change that. Kidney stones. The regret you feel one second after saying something really hurtful to someone. When a loved one passes, knowing you'll never physically see or hear them again. Unexpected phone call at 1 a.m. and the grief of losing a child. Not being able to breathe. I recently had an 8-hour asthma attack and it was terrifying. Missing a long-term partner and knowing they don't feel the same way. When you are eating and you suddenly hear a crack and realize you just broke your tooth. Being stuck in life. There is no forward progress, and there is no going back. You are just where you are. Realizing you just sent an email, company-wide, and not ONLY to the original sender. You know that feeling when you just wake up and for a second everything seems okay? Yeah, the feeling right after when you remember everything is, in fact, not okay. When I was at work and my wife called to tell me they lost my son and called 911. I work 90 minutes away from from. My son is fine and safe, he was hiding in the house, but I've never felt so bad in my life. Abandonment. Feels like fire in your soul. Anhedonia. When doing something you used to enjoy no longer invokes the feelings they once did. Everything I used to enjoy no longer does anything for me. X200B. You could chalk this up to depression but this is a specific feeling that makes me feel empty inside because everything that used to make me smile feels like a chore now. Betrayal. Someone not loving you back the way you did. Being suicidal. Being cheated on in a serious relationship. It's so much more than betrayal, it cuts you deep and has you wondering what's wrong with you, and then every relationship you ever have after is different because you've been changed and trusting is never the same. Anal Fisher. I've had my eyelids kicked off with a boot and had to hold my eye in the socket with a towel till I got to the ear. Uh. Anal Fisher all day. Loving someone who doesn't love you back. When you realize the relationship is over and you can't take it anymore. But ending things seems impossible when you've been together for so long and had so many memories. When you feel that you don't really matter to anyone. Especially in social circles. It's when you notice that no one listens to anything you have to say, when people in the group makes up plans and forgets to mention you. It's not that anyone would be actively mean even, it's just that you're not really there in their eyes. Cluster headaches. I hate them. Heartbreak. That feeling before you puke. When you get rejected from a job that would flip your life around in every aspect. That feeling after reading that we need to talk text. Flushed face. Nausea. Losing a baby. Sending a text about someone and accidentally sending it to them. The feeling when you can tell someone is falling out of love with you and there's nothing you can do. The realization that no one actually cares about you. Actions speak louder than words. 
when everyone's actions are screaming we don't care at you, it's really hard. Especially when it's people that you thought would always have your back, no matter what. Shitting yourself on a plane. I don't feel anything most of the time. That's the worst feeling, blank, black, emptiness that makes you wonder if you are even alive and if so why? Pain becomes a welcome respite from the numbness. Your friends hanging out without telling you. Not being able to sleep despite being tired every day. Loneliness. Guilt and regret can destroy someone. The feeling of never being able to achieve something you dedicate your life to. Being betrayed by someone who you thought you could trust. It's happened to me too many times and every time, it makes me feel like absolute shit. Being tortured by any type of persistent pain. Also dropping your favorite ice cream, it's the worst, uh. Recognizing your lost potential. Knowing that in an alternate universe you could have been someone. Worst feeling is being forgotten. Failing at life and its never-ending cycle of sadness and depression. Seeing the person you love having more fun with other people than with you. When you wake up and your dog died while you were sleeping. When you wave back to someone but realize they were waving to someone else. Suppressing the lump in the throat because there are people around. That really horrible sinking panic when you see the look on someone's face and just know something awful has happened. Being in a relationship with a narcissistic individual. You know that itch under your skin that moves whenever you try and scratch it? That. Having to go poop right after you begin your shower. Being really upset and opening your phone only to realize you have nobody to call. Going through a miscarriage. Lost the baby at 15 weeks and seeing your child dead inside of you on an ultrasound with no heartbeat is fucked. Loneliness. Deep, prolonged clinical depression. If you haven't experienced it, you don't know. Having a bad day with your mental illness. Others don't get it, and you're suffering alone inside. It's hard to describe, it's hard to deal with, and there's no real answer to make it better. Worst of all, you end up questioning if you've really a right or reason to feel the way you feel and you end up beating yourself up even more for having one or not doing better or not being like everyone else. It's a death spiral when you have a bad day with it. Okay everyone take out your homework. Probably going through a stillbirth. Then later that week your parents dying. A pet dying. A failed sneeze. Being a gifted kid in school and 10 years later all of the praise promise and potential isn't there anymore. Rejection. When your phone rings in the middle of the night. Feeling unwanted. Losing a loved one to suicide. Regret. Biting your tongue while chewing food fast. Having to put a pet down. Being left out. Knowing I might never see or talk to him again. Regret, anxiety, melancholy, pain. Betrayal. Losing the person who's the closest to you. When your mom dies. Tooth pain. As a woman, knowing you just started your period and were not prepared. Anxiety. When you see their love for you starts to fade. That moment when you can't immediately find your little kid in public. Random meeting requests. My dad passed away yesterday after only being sick for four weeks. My heart is broken beyond words can describe so that. Working somewhere waiting to get fired. Hopelessness, depression. When you remember that embarrassing thing from second grade. 